Hey, it's Perry Lau here from PurposeFreeMaster.com, and today I'm going to talk about negotiations. Back when I bought my first brand new car, I shopped around. I talked to all the local dealerships asking for the lowest price. Then I used that price as my baseline. I asked around again to my local dealerships to see if they could beat that price. I would go around with the new lower price and asking for even lower prices. Eventually, after a few months, I was able to buy my car and save a lot of money. This was worthwhile because I wasn't in a rush to get the car. What I've learned from the experience is never give the first offer. Let them give you a starting point. And then you can use that and negotiate down. This goes for job salaries and any big ticket purchases. It's important to do the necessary research, all the pre-work, knowing about the seller and the decision makers, knowing your deadline, when do you have to buy the car or when you want to start the job, and also the market price. All these things are important, but also understanding your thresholds. What's the point that you're not willing to take? You have to figure out your best alternatives. If it's a job offer, you could first thank them by saying, thank you for the offer. Is there any flexibility in the base? Afterwards, you can start the negotiation process. You could say, I'm looking at a few opportunities and I think I'm worth X, which is 15% more than what they offered. If you can match it, then I could give him my two weeks notice and we're done. This way they know your counter offer and they see the potential finish line. That if they can match it, then the deal is done. It's a good practice to go for no. This means you're always pushing the envelope, getting the most out of every situation. If the other person is willing to say yes, then that means there's more room in their budget. Because negotiations can be uncomfortable, the other person wants the conversation to end, and you could actually use that to your advantage. You could practice negotiation skills almost every day. Even though things may not be negotiable, you could still try it. You might be asking the waiter for dessert by giving him an extra tip. The worst thing is they say no, and you don't have anything to lose. You may feel bad because of your rejection or it's, you think it's something that you're not supposed to do. But unless you ask for what you want, you're never going to get it. You have to go after what you want. The worst thing they say is no, and you'll be in the same place where you started. Make negotiation a daily practice so you can have more income and savings. If you have any questions about negotiations, please leave a comment below. And I love you and for y'all. Till next time. Bye.